Now, ladies and gentlemen, after a week of silence, Valve have just spoken. Throughout the last couple of days, Valve have sent out quite a few DPR updates. And finally, yesterday evening, Valve released a brand new update for CS2. Now, it's not very large or important, more so just fixing new and outstanding bugs from before this most recent fire sale update just a couple weeks ago. But within the last 24 hours, there's been some brand new exploits discovered inside CS2. The Scar Pattern, aka K Sarden, has officially sold for over $1 million. Alongside dozens of new boosts and glitches have been discovered. Today's video, we're going to break down last night's blog post by showcasing changes, alongside filling you in on everything there is to know about CS2 news as well as Counter-Strike's next update. Now today's video sponsor is Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a buying but most notably trading marketplace, that being for your CS2 items. You can trade off your old skins for something new, all you do is log in with Steam, you start a trade and any cash remaining goes to your available balance on the site. When it comes to trading an item you don't have enough balance for on the site, Skins Monkey has a large variety of deposit options. By using my code Mando you can get up to a free $5, and by depositing alongside using my code you get an additional 35% of a deposit bonus. With Skins Monkey's large variety of skins they also offer daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways. If interested, the link will be in the top of the description down below. Firstly for today's video is last night's blog post, which seems to be underwhelming to say the least, but at least we got an update, right? Blog post is for June 4th, that being last night, there's one category, that being miscellaneous, and there's four different points in the one category. Now the first point is they fixed a case where scores were incrementing correctly in a deathmatch and arms race. Now I've seen a tweet going around the community and people data mining last night's update, and for an example, Thor CS put out a tweet saying the TypeScript file, that being for arms race and deathmatch, were also removed in last night's update. And for the few posts I've seen saying the arms race and deathmatch got removed, that's not correct. It was more so to do with this first line of text in last night's blog post. The second point is Valve fixed a case where players were able to clip through the first person camera through ceilings. The third point is Valve fixed a case where the C4 could get stuck outside the playable area. Meaning if you threw this outside of the map at a certain place at a certain angle at a certain height, it would get stuck and it wouldn't come back down to the bomb site wherever you were or would respawn back and spawn. So if you were on the T side and you didn't kill everyone on the CT side before the round ended, you were going to lose that round and possibly the game if someone on your team trolled and did it over and over again. And according to DuckCS on Twitter, this isn't 100% sure or confirmed if these specific spots got fixed, but it seems like a lot of these are still in the game. Take that as you will. And for the last point Valve wanted to get across, there's various stability improvements. Now after last night's update, data miners and players didn't really expect anything else, mainly because we got the fire sale update just two weeks ago, and that now seems to be a continuous trend by Valve to where they don't release anything for a while, and then boom, they come up with a fire sale or arms race type of update that's three to five gigabytes, has some recycled features from CSGO, maybe a couple new things added in there as well. Next solid update for Counter-Strike 2 is most likely a few weeks away. After, like we just mentioned, an update introducing renting skins or arms race, Valve tends to be busy working and waiting to release the next large update for one to three months. And what will that next update be? Based off the new chicken animations we saw on the fire sale update, and Valve liking a post based off of this that hasn't been fully introduced into the game, and all the recent data mines and just data mines from the last year have been based around Danger Zone, I'd say it's safe to say we're going to see Valve return to Battle Royale before anything else this year that's very major. And then of course we're most likely also going to see the removal of the Copenhagen sticker sometime this week or within the next month, it's really hard to say. Now moving away from CS2 updates is now the news for today's video. Within the last 24 hours, it has been said the Scar Pattern AK-47 Case Harden has officially sold for over $1 million. Now this was originally reported by Raffle Monster and now Zipple, where Zipple said they both were in on the transaction, most likely as a middleman and then getting that transaction through. Now originally before Zipple commented on anything, I was going to say I would take this as you will, maybe with a grain of salt, because there wasn't a whole lot of proof that, well, he transacted that or it even sold in the first place since he was like really the only person on Twitter saying it was sold, but now it seems to be confirmed. And after all the bait I've seen on Twitter this last year, it's really hard to believe anything nowadays. Next up is illegal boosts and exploits inside CS2. Ever since we saw the change to Vertigo almost two weeks ago now, a boost inside Elevator is now available according to DuckCS, who was also the same guy to realize that there was a jump bug inside CS for months on end, and Valve didn't end up patching it until a few updates ago. And there's supposedly also a boost that's outside the map, just on the outside of the railing near sandbags on A-Site Vertigo. Now if this has been patched yet, I'm not sure, but these have most likely come obviously from this most recent update just a couple weeks ago with the fire sale update. And lastly for today's video is everything to do with cheaters, VAC2, and current exploits inside Counter-Strike 2. The account VACcoin on Twitter posted a video with the description of an exploit in Counter-Strike 2 allows you to stop and move locally on the map and this has been known for several days. And yeah, this is most likely exactly what you're thinking, where essentially you can move around, spot the enemy, and respawn to back to where you were before you lagged out and now you know directly where the enemy team is or just maybe one enemy and it's like you have walls but it's really hard to tell if you have walls unless you're recording something on your part. Now for me, I wonder how long this has been in the game for. Has it been in the game for the last few months? Where did it first get introduced? Why is this the first time we're hearing about this and should we be alarmed for something else like this in the future? I'm assuming for the most part, no one's really going to be banned since you can't really see if someone's been using this, but at least for me, it still makes me have a lot of questions. And speaking of cheaters, I also want to end on this topic. The average game on Premiere to have a cheater spotted has been reported to be in 19 to 20,000 ELO, according to a Twitter post by CS and the website Lita5 for all CS stats. Now the data has been 
been found due to players that were banned cheating in these certain ranks. Some stats from Premier show less than 3% of players actually playing in those ranks. And for myself right now, playing with friends who are both lower and higher than that, there's some nights where it feels absolutely impossible to get a good game of Counter-Strike in. If I play three games a night, there's always that one game where you're always scratching your head at every single play someone else does in the enemy team. And sometimes it's the entire team where you're asking how or why someone got somewhere so fast or a certain positioning on a site or map. And it seems to be the perfect timing every single round. And then you end up losing or winning the game and these guys end up being 5,000 ELO less than what you actually are. Now these stats on Lead of Fire are pretty good, but let's also remember for competitive ranks, that being the ranks back from CSGO like LEM, Global Elite, Supreme, those don't really exist on competitive for CS2 right now. Global Elite on CS2 is broken and impossible to get, and this is almost after a year its debut. The max rank you can get according to Lead of Fire is MG1, which is pretty crazy, and that's until May of 2024. Now let me know what you guys think down below of last night's update, but also the news today. What were you most surprised by, and what are you most excited to see in the next week's update? I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay positive, sexy. I'm out, guys. Peace.